Good morning, Kristen. I just want to go over a few things with you here. You'll see the changes that uh, I instituted on the site. Uh, at the top, we'll go over this first. This is your banner, your banner ad. So uh, I just have a temporary one in there right now. You can change it. But if you go to WP Bannerize and click Add New, you just if you want to enter a banner from your local file, from your uh, from your local machine, of course you could do that. Or if you want to choose one from your media library, you could do that. Or if you want to insert like a, a Google AdSense code or any type of code, that would be free HTML. You could give it a start date and you could give it an end date. Um, and then you have the different groups. Your particular group is in the header. So there's no other group right now. If you want me to program stuff under the footer, I can. But if you go to, to your widgets, you'll also have them in the sidebar there that you can use as well. You can put a description if you're using the, um, you know, a picture from your media or from your computer. And then here's the URL. You can open it in a blank parrot self-top uh, window. And here you could limit the impressions, like if you're going to sell by the impression, if you want to sell uh, your banner eyes, and then you can add the uh, no photo attribute so uh, to utilize SEO. Um, your uh, tools and your settings, this is where you would, uh, I could go over this later in detail if you want, but this is where you will get your code to insert into your header or your footer or wherever you want. Um, settings you you just pr pretty much go over the rest of this stuff it's pretty much self-explanatory now <clears throat> the next thing that I want to go over is this horizontal these horizontal posts that you uh, uh, wanted me to do and if you notice up here it says a one website pro web development and design Kristen click here to get the code for your horizontal post so that's what you exactly do just click there I just made this little plugin for you so that uh, it would be a little bit simpler to put in the code because if you go to appearance and widgets you'll see that I installed the widget for the home page top and this code right here is what it, you see on these pictures going across. Now I added a little bit of something more but I'm going to go through the process with you to show how it works. Basically you'll put your image URL in this first box, the post link in the next box, the post title in the next box, and a short description. I'm going to fill these out and then I'll show you how to get the code. Basically what we want to do is we want to go to your website and grab a picture that we're going to use. We're going to right click, click copy image URL, we're going to go to the post and then paste in that image URL that you have there. Uh, let's go back to the post and we're going to go to the post link. We're going to go ahead and right click, copy link address and we're going to put that in the next one. and then the post title, let's go get the title for that post uh, back to patio makeover we'll copy that and we'll just put that in there and then maybe a short description copy the first couple of sentences and put those in there and for the sake of time I'm just gonna pause the video and finish filling the rest of these out Okay, I put in all the information that we need to know to make this little plugin work. We're going to click Submit. And you see this code right here? If we click to highlight it in blue, right click, copy that. Let's go back to our widgets. And this little uh, widget in here, select All, and we'll paste the new code in there. And click Save. Go ahead and close this out. Go to your website again. Refresh the page and you'll see that you have your little things here all here in a horizontal type of manner at the top of your page now uh, each one of these the way that I had that code programmed is that each one of these whenever you click on it it's going to take you to that post whatever link that you have in your uh, that you that you entered into your code so I hope you like it and I hope this video has been informative and helpful. There's been a lot of changes on your style sheet, your header and stuff like that that I had to track down and stuff so it took me a little bit more time 
than an hour so and then I had to make that plug in for you so um, we, what we just want to do is make sure like if, if you change something on the style sheet or, or something like that that you want to keep or you change something in the header.php or functions.php that you think are pretty neat uh, let me know about that so that I could download the changes onto my local computer because I always edit on my local computer then I upload to your site and it makes my work a lot faster like for instance this particular project here probably took me about five hours when it would have took me about an hour and a half if I didn't have to track down uh, all the changes that were done on it so uh, just just something to keep in mind but uh, I'm, I'm gonna only charge you for two uh, because I, I know that I originally quoted you around an hour. That's what I had originally thought. So, uh, but I wasn't aware of the changes. But anyway, I look forward to working with you some more. Uh, Give a little bit of thought about that e-commerce and selling that uh, bat and, uh, banner space at the top, maybe at the sides of your website. And we'll.